I hate to start the video off this way, but we have some bad news for some of the Funko fan club members out there. Let's talk about it. Yesterday, we gave you a full rundown of Funko Spring Virtual Con 2021, aka ECCC 2021 or Emerald City Comic Con. Funko edition. We discussed how Funko sent out emails to all of the Funko fan club members so they could enter the Spring Virtual Con lottery. But there were a couple things that we did not talk about during that video, and in fact, we have a follow-up from a person who emailed Funko directly to find out why they didn't get an email for the lottery. So we didn't realize that you not only had to be in the Funko fan club, but you needed to have a valid address on your account and you had to be signed up for their newsletters, which I sort of thought was automatic. I, I thought so too, but apparently there's some sort of box you have to check. This morning, Chris posted a question in the Gasocast We Hunt Together group asking people, hey, did you get an email to opt into the lottery? And are you a Funko fan club member who didn't receive an email? There were quite a few people who said that they were a part of the Funko fan club, did have a valid address on file, and are opted into their newsletters that did not receive an email. In fact, one of our members actually emailed Funko, just like we had mentioned in the previous video, asking why they did not send him an email for the lottery. And the response was, hello there. We're sorry to hear that you did not receive an opt-in email. Our system validated all registered members at the time and cutoff for eligibility, Sunday, 2.14 at 11.59 p.m. PST. Please review your account settings to make sure you are fully signed up for the Funko Fan Club, your email and shipping address are valid, and that you are subscribed to the Funko newsletter. Finally, please review your spam and junk folders. If you still did not receive the opt-in email, you will have the opportunity to purchase shared retail exclusives at 6 a.m. PST on Thursday 3-4 on Funko.com and through respective sites and stores. Warmest regards, Funko Loungefly support. I like how they said warmest regards, as if it's not cold outside and they were giving the person good news. Well, maybe where they're at is warm. It's not. Well, it looks like some people are just completely out of luck, and that's unfortunate. There are fans out there who are true loyal fans that did not create multiple accounts to win that just want to have that one chance to opt in on the lottery. And they don't get that chance, and that really sucks. So feel very lucky if you receive that opt-in email for the Funko Lottery. Before we get into all the fun of the announcements from today, we want to talk about our partnership with Collector Zone. Collector Zone has offered up a deluxe Hot Toys Captain Marvel to help us get to 5K subscribers. Once we hit 5K subscribers, we'll be giving that figure away with a whole lot more. Make sure you go over and check out CollectorZone.com. They have all the collectibles you're looking for, from Hot Toys to Iron Studio statues, sideshow figures, and everything else in between. So make sure you go and check out CollectorZone.com. This Saturday, we're actually going to release an awesome unboxing video of the Captain Marvel figure that we're going to be giving away. And we'll go into more detail about Collector Zone. You definitely don't want to miss that. They are amazing. Heather, there was so much excitement today on the Gasocast We Hunt Together group. If you're not there, you should totally go and join. But all of the excitement was surrounding all of the announcements for ECC 2021 or Spring Con, Virtual Con, what do they call it? Virtual Con? I don't know, but you said ECC. So is it Emerald City Comet? There's just too many C's. All of the announcements today were very exciting and it seemed like a lot of people were really into it. Yesterday started off okay. Grimlock was definitely a number one for me, but the rest of the day was just okay. Today was a complete explosion of awesome. Would you say that today is Wonderful Wednesday? Today's Wonderful Wednesday. I totally agree. Yesterday was Terrific Tuesday. Today is Wonderful Wednesday. And I'm hoping tomorrow is a Thirsty Thursday because I'm thirsty for all those announcements, baby. Ew. What if tomorrow it's like soda day and like you really could be thirsty? Oh my God, that would be awesome. Hold on, hold on. Do that weird thing you do again. <laughs> That's really tasty, Heather. Hold on, let me do it again. Here, hand it to me. How about I slide it? You slide, slide it. Okay, you can't do that because if it's open. Uh huh? Oh. 
you don't <laughs> open it before you push it. Do you understand? Wait, but you yelled at me because no, no, I wasn't. No, no, when I catch it, then I'll pop it. Go ahead. Because if it falls over, it's okay. spilling yeah, out. Okay. Yeah, got it. That's so terrific. Was that good? You could just say that it sucks. You don't have to do all that. So today started off with Belle in a green dress, which I had no idea what that was until you pulled up a photo. I thought it was just them putting her in a green dress because it's Emerald City. Nope, she was actually wearing a green dress. In what? In the movies. It wasn't that stupid sequel, was it? The Beauty and the Beast sequel is called The Enchanted Christmas, and it has 13% on Rotten Tomatoes. This is right around the time that they used to make really crappy sequels to really awesome Disney films. Yeah, I never watched those. I think my parents knew that they weren't that great, so they didn't waste our blockbuster money on them. The second item of the day was the 1500 piece ogre from Adventures of the Gummy Bears. Do you remember that show? No. There were bears that like bounced around because they were gummy bears. You don't remember that? Are you saying that because you're gonna go after this 1500 count and you wanna justify it by saying you're a fan when actually you're not and you just want the 1500 count Funko Pop? Yeah. You know, an easier way to do that instead of acting like a fan is just say you want it because it looks just like you. Okay, that's not true. I don't have a mohawk and I have more than one tooth. Yeah, you're right. You got about 500 teeth that are really big. Oh my God. And then there's an Alice in Wonderland caterpillar figure. I really want that one. You like the caterpillar? I love the caterpillar. See, I never knew you were an Alice in Wonderland fan until recently. Like you were like, oh my God, Alice in Wonderland is awesome. I like the English version of the movie. I, I don't like, what didn't you like? The Disney cartoon? I didn't say You know, what? something you didn't like. I don't like the, the live action say, one from Disney. I didn't say that. That's what you said. Or I never no, saw I it, so. Yeah, I never saw it. Oh, okay. It's really stupid. I didn't say that. I hate Johnny Depp. He's dumb. I never said that. I smell like farts. Oh, you totally said that. You totally f***ing said that. You smell like f***ing farts. I really love the caterpillar. He was one of my favorite characters. He looks like he has like Elvis hair. Yeah, he has these weird Aladdin shoes. One of my favorites of the entire day is the glow in the dark Pirates of the Caribbean Funko Pop. He is awesome. I thought for sure this would be a limited one, but there's no signs of it being limited. No, because the ogre guy that looks like you has the limited count. Okay, okay. Okay, anyway, uh, so I really like this piece. I think it's cool. I like that it glows in the dark, but could this be a secret limited count? Back during, I think, New York Comic Con. Snake Plissken. Snake Plissken was a secret one. Yep, that was, that was fake news. They like never said it. That's right. They only said like Funko limited edition or whatever, but they didn't say the, what was it, was it 2000? Yeah. Or 1000? I don't know what it was. They didn't say the count number until that day. He's a thousand pieces. I'm literally two feet from you. You don't have to shout. What? Also, if you notice in the bottom corner, it says Disney Parks. I'm wondering if this will be the first time we have an Emerald City Comic Con exclusive at a Disney Park. Wouldn't it be the very first Comic Con exclusive at a Disney Park? I feel like it would be. And then there's a green Yoda. Yeah, we talked about him with the leaks. Yeah. There's really nothing to say. He's Yoda and he's green. That's like, that's not even news. And he's wearing green. I guess that's news, right? Cause he doesn't normally wear green. Did he wear a green dress in the library? I don't know. This is the laziest thing ever. What the f is that? This is Spider-Man 2099. We already have a Spider-Man 2099 Funko Pop and he looks great. I don't know why we necessarily needed this one in this very strange pose. At first I thought it was him pointing because you had the two Spider-Man characters pointing at each other. In fact, they released a pop set of that. I thought they were trying to do the same thing with this version of Spider-Man because this actually happens in the Spider-Verse film. It looks like he's holding an invisible cup. This one's very exciting. This is a Marvel Zombies Morbius, and this is great. Funny thing is, they released a zombie Morbius way back when. In one of the Marvel Collector Core boxes, I there remember. was a chance of getting a regular Morbius or a zombie Morbius. Mm -hmm. This is straight up bloody zombie Morbius. 
Morbius, and this is awesome. It is awesome, but I'm really confused why they have blood on this one, but not the others on I don't know. Maybe because he's a vampire and he's Maybe. sucking blood? I don't know what's going on. And then we have Deadpool with the little, I don't know, are he Sour bears? Patch Kids. They're teddy bears or bunnies Sour, or Sour something. Sour Patch Kids. Uh, I don't understand this one so much. I heard that this is in a comic book somewhere. Yes, and apparently he was nude or, well, mostly nude. He still has his... his uh, Mask and gloves. And gloves. But he has a cover up and these like stuffed animals or something like cover him. Mm, or maybe okay. just bunny rabbits. I don't know. That's weird. And then there's a hardwood classics, Sonic's Sasquatch. I'm not a basketball guy. I'm not a sports guy. So this means absolutely nothing to me. But I think that because he's a Sasquatch, that makes him cool. Yeah, I think he's pretty neat looking, but I... Uh, uh, uh. And the last thing of the night was the Funkoverse Darkwing Duck game. Something I really do not care about at all. I don't care about the games. I'm not really big into Funkoverse. I've purchased a couple of the games, but we've never actually tried them. The only thing I know about these is that you go to Target, they're sitting on the shelves, and they have the markdown stickers on. That's all I know about Funko First games. They're always marked down. Well, that's it for today, huh? Yeah. I mean, it was an exciting day. There was a lot of really cool things that were announced. I would say that so far, this has been way better than Toy Fair. Definitely. So far, my favorites are Grimlock, Jolly Roger, and that zombie Morbius. They look awesome. My favorites were the Caterpillar and Belle. Guys, what did you think about today's announcements? What's your favorite from today? Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. All right, guys. That time again, remember as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.